What's up everybody, Dr. Ray, and today we're reviewing and going, I'm gonna walk through Apple's HealthFit app. Now I did this exact video maybe like two or three years ago, like um, I think even pre-COVID. So much has changed in this app that my old video doesn't give it any credit for what it does. I mean, my review was good, I thought it was a great app then, but I'm gonna talk, they made so many changes in the app that I thought it was well worth doing a new video. So let's get into it and talk about Apple's HealthFit app. It's not Apple, it's on Apple's you know, ecosystem, HealthFit app. Um, it's called HealthFit, your workout companion, $4.99 in the App Store. Now I'm not a big fan of paying for apps. I like when apps are free, um, but let's talk about all the stuff this app does and see if it's actually worth it for you. So what we're gonna do is I am gonna open up the app and kind of walk you all through and talk about my thoughts of the app as we go through it. You ready? All right, so first thing, I opened up the app on my phone, and you can see we see all of my workouts. Um, these are workouts that have been done over the last, you know, week or whatever. Um, you can see, like, it's just showing each workout. And so what you can do on this screen is you can click on a workout. When you click on a workout, this was a cardio workout I did yesterday. I did the elliptical, I biked, and then I did the rower for 30 minutes. Just It's just an in-between day, kind of an off day for me. I did a light workout just to get my heart rate and body moving a little bit. So you can see here at the top, we've got like my calories and heart rate, a little share button where I can share. At the top of the screen, I can like it, or I can click that this little uh, button at the top here, which allows me to to either sync it with what I have set, and I'll talk about that at the end here. I can export it to various places, which I'll, I'll get to as well. Um, or you know, I can export the file itself. Or I can edit the workout if I need to. So we can see it shows my heart rate and my cadence. There is no cadence here. This is just a cardio. So whatever Apple's sending this is what it's reading. Um, you can see my start time, total time, I don't know why they have distance, but it was just, that's the app, it, that's Apple's app, not this app. Um, but it has my heart rate, my average and max, my recovery heart rate, how much energy I've expent, and my training load. It gives me a, a heart rate score, stress score, and training impulse. Um, also gives me my heart rate zones. And, and you can set those zones, so these are what I have them set for. And also gives me the temperature and humidity and what device I use. Now, if you look at like different kinds of workouts, it's going to give you different kinds of information. For example, let me go to one like this was a biking workout that I did. And this was actually just a fun bike workout that I actually did with my son. So I wasn't going too far, 3.6 miles. But you can see it gives me the map. <clears throat> it gives me my heart rate, my speed throughout the and the elevation. So you can see like when you do like runs, swims, and bikes, it gives you all the information you would expect that Apple provides in there. Workout it gives you like the distance and stuff like that. An Eddington number, average speed, elevation, heart rate, recovery, all that good stuff. So it gives you lots of all, basically all the information Apple's going to provide for a workout it gives you. So you're thinking, well, wait a second. I already have all this on the Apple Health app. What is kind of the point of this one then? Like, why would I want to do that? Like, what's the point of this app if it's just giving me all this stuff that Apple Health does? Um, well, there's a lot more stuff this does, and let me cut, start to get into like the point of this app and what it does. Okay, and we're going to go through the bottom of the screen. So next, we're getting into statistics. This is pretty much all a new feature that they've provided. So this is actually pretty big. So for those of you familiar with like Strava, Training Peaks, Golden Cheetah, like your fitness score, well, they're giving you your fitness CTL, fatigue ATL, and form. Um, and now I, I was away for the last two weeks, so I'm rebuilding mine up. But if I click on this, it gives me the same graph that like Training Peaks does that you pay like $200 a year for, or no, it's like $115 a year or whatever. Um, but you can go 30 days, six weeks, three months. And then it gives you some other stats down here, like your training strain, which is pretty cool. But this chart is like something people pay Strava, you know, you get for free from Golden Cheetah or Run Alive's, um, or people pay training peaks for it. You get it for the $4.99 one-time fee in this app, which I think is awesome because I can see, I can gauge my fitness level based on this. Then you can scroll down here and see all kinds of stats, for example, like training load. Um, and I can click the see all button to see more, but you can see like this week versus last, like it shows you if you're improving or not, your load um, versus the month versus 12 months for each specific, if I click see all, I can see like specific kinds of workouts, my year to date for different kinds of workouts, and then all time, how many workouts, like I've recorded 1600 workouts with this app. 
um, how many calories, workout time, which is just kind of like a fun thing. It also gives you like, and these are fun things like your memories and which I think is kind of cool. It gives you your Eddington number. It gives you your heat maps for various workouts that you've done. You can see for cycling, swimming, and running. Um, also your exploring or score as well, where basically like I can click on like cycling and it'll show me like the places where I bike. You can see like the dots here on the map, which is Pretty cool. I mean, nice little feature. More for fun. The most important thing here in statistics for me is if I'm improving weekly, monthly, and my fitness. And they provide it all, which is awesome. You got to remember, like Strava charged me a monthly fee to see that that information. Um, Training Peaks as well charges you either monthly or annual fee for that exact same information. This one charges you a $4.99 fee for for free. I mean, once you pay. Then they give you health metrics. These are very similar to the health metrics that I see on Apple's health. Um, these statistics are not on Apple health, but these health metrics are like active energy today versus my average and stuff like that. My resting energy, exercise minutes, steps, you know, my resting heart rate, HRV, and I can click these for like more. Like you can see my resting H heart rate is 51 right now. That one's not giving me more. HRV is giving me more. It shows me all the readings throughout the day that the Apple Watch has taken. Um, and you can see, I can start to look at like past seven days all time and get a little more information here. Like I was away on vacation, <laughs> resting heart rate away on vacation versus resting heart rate, starting to work out again. I started working out again, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh, and same look, HRV just going up. But you can see these little graphs, and yes, Apple does provide those kind of little graphs. So it's, that's not like super, super impressive, but it is cool. It's all here in an app. Um, and the next thing, and the reason people really started using this app. So when people started using this app, they used it for one thing. And that was to take your Apple workouts and put them on things like training peaks. You can see uh, final surge, uh, run alive, smash run, sports tracks, Strava. Training Peaks, Under Armour. Now you can see where I have mine. Mine are synced to my iCloud. I get the Fit Files, Runalyze, Strava, and Training Peaks. Um, but the point of this app was so there was an automatic tool so that when you did a workout in Apple Watch, it would automatically send it to all the different types of places that you would work out. So that was the point because Apple didn't make it easy. It's, it's, it's Each app is like has their own system now. It's getting a little easier, but that was like the point of this app. Um, there were a few other apps out there kind of doing the same thing. Um, and then in, in here, so in each one of these, so let me go to one and just kind of show you what it's like. So you go to one, I'll go to Runalyze. It shows me health metrics, sync, workout sync. So I have it synced to set to automatic because you can like do it manually if you would like to, but why I do it manually when you can do it automatic. All workouts, I can choose if I wanted like a certain kind of workout here. Oh, I have to push automatic here, undo it, and I could, or edit, and I could pick what kind of workout. Oops, let's just keep it at all. Um, or I could sign out of the app. So obviously you have to connect like Runalyze to do it or Strava or whatever. But it's that simple to connect something. You automatic, all workouts. You can edit it or not, re-sign up or whatever. Here's where you set up like your synchronization, what you want to be. So I can like set up everything, all workouts, automatic, workout naming, just keep it automatic, metrics, sync, export format. When they export it to me, fit files, that's what I want. You can choose what kind you want. Um, uh, here's where you set your heart rate settings. You can also set your gear, like your shoes or your bike or anything like that to be synced with workouts so that they're trying to make this so you can use it kind of the all in one everything. You know, units, what's your start of the week? I haven't set notifications or photos. I have to have none. I don't need that. Um, appearance, you can change the app icon to black or white. I never touched it. It must be default set to that. Um, language, you can set whether you're syncing it to iCloud or not and, you know, follow them on various social media. But so when the app first came out, this is what it was designed to do. This is what it did. It did this really well. It was so worth $5 to do it. Now... They're adding all this other stuff in. Like I'm getting almost better charts and data on this app than I am from Apple Health app, which is awesome. The workout app, which is great. 
um, you know, like Apple Workout app doesn't give me like any training load type information. They're starting to get better about it. Um, Apple's improving. So if you're watching this video in like two months from now and you're like, Apple has that, how dare you say it doesn't? Well, they didn't when I reviewed it. They are starting to talk about things like this though in the Apple apps, which is nice, but they don't have as much information. And the key information I'm really looking for is the fitness, comparing my loads and stuff. And it's just awesome that it's all right here. Remember, like usually you pay, this is a $5 app. So that's my review of the app. That's me my walk, me walking through everything. I mean, do I think it's worth it? For $5, I'm a huge, I hate spending money on apps. I think this one, if you're into working out at all and tracking your fitness, I think this is 1000% worth it because it's so cheap. Also, because it sends all your data to all these other places, you can link up to like your Strava account and stuff and never have to touch it. I never touch anything. I log into Strava once every month or two and boom, everything's just there. Like all my Strava stuff is just in there. Same with training peaks and whatever else. So I really don't have to do much. You can go through all your workouts. I mean, it's a much cleaner interface than Apple Health or Apple App. But the fact that it provides a lot of actual useful services in addition to displaying the data better makes it well worth the five dollars um, and i think like apps like you know training peaks which yes provides coaching plans and all kinds of stuff but for the person who just wants to see like their fitness and and health and track their workouts like this is enough for them um you know that doesn't need a coach and all the different features something like training peaks would offer um so i do think this is well worth it i think some of the other the places that charge need to figure out like what their charging models like compared to something like this. Like, why am I going to just subscribe to this versus Strava system? You know, what is Strava? Are there a few features? And there are a few features people would think are worthwhile for Strava. But I think for a lot of general people who exercise, I think this kind of app is really doing a lot. Um, as I said, I reviewed this app like three years ago and they didn't have half the features they do now. So the person who's working on it is making significant changes all all the time i'm like keep opening it up and i'm like oh my gosh they did this like i can't speak highly enough more about the person running this app and this app itself is it, it works it works it does what it's supposed to do and i'm happy with it for five bucks man i spent that three or four years ago and it's still i'm using it today like so worth it no subscription model or anything like that um, so go ahead. I think you should give it a try. I think if you're in the Apple ecosystem, it's 100% worth you. This is one app I do think is worth buying. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think of the app um, below. Later on.